turn our eyes from evil things. Oh Lord, we cast down our idols and give us clean hands and give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean Church, I want to invite you right now to respond with all your heart for the talk that Pastor Susie just gave us a few minutes ago. That is there some sin that we haven't yet called out? Sin that has just been on the outskirts, even that we haven't proclaimed and just brought before the Father's heart? Is this something that the Holy Spirit is nudging you at the moment to even confess? and not give what is hidden the power to manipulate or dictate, but instead shed the light that shines right on the darkness. So I wanna invite you to do exactly that, to come before the one who is merciful and gracious and confess some of the things that we have not confessed yet. And you must be wondering, well, what is the response of the Father going to be when I confess? when I come before Him. Well, the Father's response is going to be this, that He is going to see you from a long way off, and He says, there comes my daughter, there comes my son. He's gonna come running right to you, to embrace you, to love you, to care for you. And He's gonna give you a ring and a robe. He's gonna give you a ring and a robe. Not condemnation, or a strike, he's gonna give you a ring and a row. So I wanna invite you, let's respond with all our hearts and soul. Oh 
is God. Lord, we just thank you that it is true. When we sin, your word says that it continues on until the fourth generation. But it also says that when you redeem us and when you bless us, it continues on for a thousand generations. And so that is our inheritance. And we say that that is what we long for. So we come to you and we lay our sin at the altar, knowing that you can wash us white as snow. Amen. This is what we want. This is why we come to you for restoration for our children, for our children's children. Thank you, God, that you redeem us. You make a new way. Amen. Oh, we sing everything.